Kangra food is the most ancient food in the history of India. The food lies in the foothills of the Himalayas and allows you to witness a heavenly beauty of the Dholadhar mountains. When you enter the fort, the first thing that you witness is the museum. But we will get back to it after a while. The main entrance of the fort is named after Sikh ruler Maharaja Ranjit Singh. He got the fort from Maharaja Sansar Chand in return of saving his and his family's life. The history of this fort is approximately 3,500 years old, which was built by Maharaja Susharma Chand of Katoj dynasty. The entire fort is built between and above the mountains. Another gate in the fort is Ahini gate. The word Ahini means iron. This gate was two floors tall and made of iron. Behind this door stayed heavily armed warriors. Earlier these blocks were used by the archers and then they were used by the gunmen. The walls behind this gate has sculptures of Lord Hanuman, Lord Ganesha and Goddess Durga so that the warriors could worship them and feel their presence and support to motivate them during any war. The next gate in the fort is the Amiri gate. This gate was built for providing a way for the royal family. Below this gate is the place where the warriors stood and above this is the site that soothes your eyes. A perfect place for any member of the royal family to relax without any tension. One of the best place of the fort is the Jahangiri gate. This place was built on the name of Mughal ruler Jahangir. It gives you a complete view of the Dholadars and also the entry of the fort. The history of this gate goes back in the 1620 AD when Jahangir fought a deadly battle for 14 months and captured the fort. In the happiness of victory on this fort, Jahangir got this gate constructed. Andheri gate was made in front of the temple and the palace. The gate was made in such a way that only two people could cross it together. Coming to the oldest part of this fort, here is the Darshini gate. On the right side of this gate, you will see 
the idol of Devi Ganga and on the left side of this gate you will see the idol of Devi Yamuna. Devi Ambika is considered as an avatar of Goddess Durga, the successors of Kadosh dynasty and the locals of Kangra still worship Devi Ambika and perform the rituals of Havan at least once a year in the fort. These walls have been carved by hands. It took 10 years in the making of these walls and the technique used in making this wall was the first example of this kind in India. This proves that how immensely talented the ancient India was. The ancient name of Kangra is Trigartha whose context has also been given in Mahabharata. History says that the fort had a lot of riches. There was so much gold and precious stone that approximately 21 deep wells were dug to preserve them. When Mughal ruler Mahmud Ghazni got this information, he looted the fort in 1009 AD. In 1905, a tremendous earthquake shook the entire Kangra district and the fort. That time, since the nation was under the British rule, so was the fort. Many fat walls of the fort broke and fell down, not only the walls, but also many sculptures and pillars. The earthquake caused the loss of many lives and damaged the fort brute. Some remains and photographs of the fort were preserved and are kept safely in the museum of the Kangra fort. After this earthquake, the Britishers left the fort as they could not handle the damage done and the fort is still under the successors of Katoch dynasty. With all this said and done, one cannot deny the architectural skills of our predecessors. This fort is an epic example of sculptures, architectures, battles and eye-soothing beauty.